Ever found yourself pondering why flying against the Earth's rotation doesn't hasten your travel time? It's a question many of us have asked during long-haul flights as we gaze out the window at the seemingly slow-moving world below. It might seem logical that if the Earth spins from west to east, flying east to west should be faster, right? Well, not exactly. This common misconception is a fascinating example of how our understanding of Earth's rotation and its impact on flight times can be, well, a little off. You see, there's a whole lot more to it than just simply going against the grain. There are scientific reasons, principles of physics, atmospheric conditions, and more that influence our flight times. So buckle up as we delve into this intriguing topic. We're about to take off on a journey through the science of aviation and Earth's rotation. So buckle up as we unravel the science behind aviation and Earth's rotation. First, we need to understand the relationship between the Earth and its atmosphere. Picture the Earth as a spinning ball with a thin layer of gas wrapped around it. That's our atmosphere. Now, if the Earth spins, does this gas layer stay still? Not at all. The Earth's rotation and the atmosphere's movement are intertwined like two dance partners moving in unison. This synchronized dance means that the atmosphere moves in lockstep with the Earth's surface. So if you're standing still, you're actually moving at the same speed as the Earth's rotation, and so is the atmosphere around you. Now let's talk about planes. They do their flying within this moving atmosphere. So when a plane takes off, it's like a runner on a moving treadmill. It's not just moving against the Earth, but also against the atmosphere that's moving with the Earth. Essentially, when you're flying, you're not just moving against the Earth, but a moving atmosphere as well. Now that we know about the Earth and its atmosphere, let's delve into the science of air travel. It's all about these four fundamental principles, lift, gravity, thrust and drag. By understanding these, we can see why the direction of flight, whether with or against the Earth's rotation, doesn't significantly affect flight times. First, let's talk about lift. Lift is the upward force that opposes the force of gravity and holds the plane in the air. It's created by the air flowing over and under the wings. The unique shape of the wing causes the air on top to move faster than the air below, creating a pressure difference that lifts the plane upwards. Gravity, on the other hand, is the downward force that works against lift. It pulls everything towards the Earth's core, including our aircraft. For a plane to stay aloft, lift must equal or exceed the force of gravity. Now thrust. Thrust is the forward force that propels the airplane through the air. It's produced by the engines, pushing the plane forward against the resistance of the air. Lastly, we have drag. Drag is the resistance encountered by the airplane as it moves through the air. It's like trying to walk through water. The faster you try to go, the more resistance you feel. In flight, drag works against thrust and must be overcome for the plane to move forward. These principles of flight operate independently of the Earth's rotation. They are influenced by factors like the plane's design and the atmospheric conditions, but not by whether the plane is flying east or west. Sure, the Earth's rotation does influence atmospheric winds, which can impact flight times. But remember, those winds affect flights moving in both directions, not just those flying against the rotation, so it's clear. Whether a plane is flying with or against the Earth's rotation, it is these principles of flight, lift, gravity, thrust and drag, that primarily determine its speed and therefore the flight time. The plane's speed is determined more by these principles of flight rather than the direction it's flying relative to Earth's rotation. So why does this misconception persist, you might ask? Well, it's all about perspective. You see, the idea that flying against the Earth's rotation could speed up flight time is a common misunderstanding, born out of our everyday experiences. We experience things moving relative to us, not the spinning Earth beneath our feet. This leads to a natural yet mistaken assumption that if we fly against the direction of the Earth's rotation, we could reach our destination quicker. However, as we've discussed, the science of air travel tells us a different story. The Earth and its atmosphere move as one, and aircraft fly within this moving frame of reference. The principles of flight, including lift, thrust, drag, and gravity, together with atmospheric conditions such as wind speed and direction, play a much greater role in determining flight time. So next time you're on a flight, remember it's not the Earth's rotation that's affecting your flight time, but the principles of flight and the conditions within the atmosphere.